Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question and perform a quick demo. Can I read a CSV file with raw file source? If not, what type of files can I read by using raw file source? So raw file source and raw file destination are the components which are provided in SSIS for us to create or read the files which are native or proprietary format to the SSIS. So when we uh, create these files, uh, the raw files, uh, they will be in the format uh, the SSIS can read uh, without parsing or translating. So when, uh, th that's, that make them really quick. Uh, when you are writing the data to the flat file or excel file or xml file it has to format or translate the data to the specific format but if we are writing data to the raw file destination it doesn't have to translate the data to the those specific formats or parts set so that make these destination real quick and we can exchange these files between different departments and vendors to get the data or to provide the data and they can use the raw file source to load to their systems really quick. So read a CSV file with the raw file source is not really what we are looking for uh, here. The CSV files will be read by using a flat file source. Raw file source will read the files which are created by using a raw file destination component in SSIS. So let's go to the uh, SSDT and create a new package and perform this demo. Let's create a new package and call this one read raw file now I have created a raw file in the previous uh, demo and I want to show you let me go to desktop output folders and here I created a, a raw file destination you can take a look in the videos and you will find that how to create a raw file uh, by using raw file destination so open with the let's open with notepad and take a look how it look like so if you see that it has the columns column names and then it has data and pretty much look in the same row and uh, it has some other characters we cannot really understand those characters so th that format is a specific or native to SSIS and SSIS understand this format very well and uh, we will be able to read this uh, file by using flat uh, sorry raw file source so now inside the data flow we can use the sources and destinations so let's bring the data flow task here the next part is bring the source in our case we will be bringing a raw file source as we are reading the data from the raw file so now open it here we can provide the file name from the uh, directly or we can provide the file name from the variable I recommend to use the variable so if you want to change later on according to the environment such as production UAT uh, QA you have the option to use that variable in the SSIS configuration and provide the name of variable in this demo I'm gonna stick to file name directly and uh, uh, perform this demo browse now provide the file name and next part is good columns and select the column so in this case we selected all those columns hit ok now we can write the data to the destination uh, I do not want to write data to any destination I just want to read the data and just show you so I'm going to use the multicast here and then uh, implement a data viewer to show you the records what we read from flat file source so here we put the multicast the purpose of multicast is just for uh, so we can implement data viewer between two transformations source and transformation and uh, let's run the package and see how it uh, read the data now what we see here we see nine records read by the raw file source and uh, they they are uh, that, that's how they will be looking like region code phone number and all that so that's really quick so uh, raw files uh, can be used as a staging area where you write your uh, data to these files and use in different new SSIS packages or even the next data flow tasks um, they, they are faster than uh, the flat files as well as uh, from, from the OLEDB destinations so uh, you can use them and uh, this is a uh, I have uh, used these raw file destinations and the sources uh, when I was uh, 
um, exchange in the data between uh, different departments in my company and uh, uh, and you have millions of record uh, and instead of you putting in the flat file or only DB staging area you, you know uh, those staging uh, databases you can always provide the files and uh, um, you can upload these files uh, to the FTP site and they can download and use the raw file source to read it and uh, put into their databases so thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you in next video